I've always had an appreciation for transportation. When we first moved to Virginia back in 1994, my mom had one vehicle, which was a 1990 Ford Aerostar minivan, and it was blue. I was in the fifth grade. Anywhere I wanted to go, if I didn't take the public bus, which at the time I lived close enough to the school to where we didn't have a public bus assigned to us, I mainly relied on myself to walk every didn't really have a lot of money once i was old enough i was determined to get myself a driver's license insurance and a car From the 90s to 2000, I'm 16 years old. I go out, get my driver's license. At the time, didn't make enough money to afford insurance. I did have part-time jobs, and I did have a summertime job. However, my main focus and goal was to get through school. Things didn't work out the way I intended them to. And my first car ends up being a 1994 Toyota Corolla. Car gets totaled. As a graduation present, my Nana gave me a little bit of money to put towards another car, which was my second car, 1992 Toyota Tercel. It was silver, two-door, automatic, slow as molasses. I blew the motor up in that one, and by that time, I was pretty much done with it. I took out a loan from the bank got myself a 1994 Toyota Tercel. Started doing a little bit of work to it. It turned into this. Yeah, so I lose my license in that car multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to go out and look for another car so that way I don't have to daily this car because of it being basically a cop magnet. You need to get something newer, more reliable, something that you don't have to work on all the time. You can get in the car, turn it over, drive to work, drive home. I was like, all right, cool. What should I get? So we went out looking. And at the time, I'm, I'm super into small form factor cars. I found a 2007 Honda Fit at this dealership. It's a Hyundai dealership, as a matter of fact. I drove all the way out here to drive, drive to this car wash, but I don't know if the touchless car wash is working. I am not gonna drive through with the bristles, the bristle brush car wash. So we get this 2007 Honda Fit. Yep, the touchless car wash is not working. So, that being said, we're going to go to the other car wash. Because I'm not putting my car through that bristle brush car wash and get my car destroyed. Um, at the very least, I know touchless car washes aren't that much better because you're blasting your car with, with water, but... I need to just rinse this bad boy off.
Okay, so we get this on the fit. I don't really do much to it. I buy some rims, buy some coilovers. I ended up getting two speeding tickets in that car and lost my license <laughs> in that car. Fast forward, 2013. Brand new, first brand new car ever, 2013 four-door Honda Civic Si. Super excited. Never in a million years thought I'd be able to afford a brand new car. So get the brand new car, got some tint, lowered it, did not buy rims, just got smaller tires. That car turns out to become a, another cop magnet. I get pulled over multiple times, I get more tickets, and I ended up losing my license again. So my wife said, we got to get rid of the car. You got to get something else. I drove past the car wash that I wanted to go to because I'm not paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'm at my current employer and I am tired of going in and out of the parking lots with a slammed Honda Civic Si. I was going to get a car wash, but I'm not going to get a car wash now because I don't have time because I thought I had time, but I don't have time. I'm tired of beating up my car in these parking lots and... I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, get me another car. I drive past this car on Jefferson Avenue and it is a neon orange Lexus RC 350 F Sport. That following weekend, I talked to my wife and I'm like, hey, maybe we should go look at that car. So we, uh, we ride up to the dealership, we take a look at the car, turn out, um, I end up trading my Civic in for a, a really good amount and I drive off 2015 Lexus RCF 350 F Sport so I was super excited about that um, car was doing great everything was good I've transitioned at this point as far as my lawn care equipment all of my lawn care equipment is electric and my, it's been electric since like 2013 ish um, and the Teslas have, you know, been on my mind for a really long time. I just didn't think I can afford a Tesla. So now, so now this Lexus RCF 350, I paid roughly 29,000 or so might've been, it was about $30,000, most expensive car I've ever purchased. I convinced my wife for us to trade in my car because the gas prices are going up. Let's get a Tesla. I, I go over the infrastructure as far as the charging, at home charging, all of the benefits. Then I weigh the, uh, the gas prices compared to the cost of electricity. And my daily commute is roughly 15 miles to work, 15 miles home. So 30 miles round trip not that far and it's actually pretty nice so we trade in the lexus with tesla no we traded in te we traded in the lexus to the same place i bought the car from and we take the money and we put it towards our new 2021 tesla model 3 so that is how we ended up in the tesla model 3 so far i love the car and I've actually convinced my wife with all of the benefits of having an electric Tesla car uh, to trade in her gasoline vehicle, which is an Acura uh, RDX 2020, 2019 or 2020 Acura RDX for the Tesla Model Y performance. So she should be taking delivery of that car sometime in the very near future between february and march february 1st is tomorrow and uh, we're waiting on that whole process to get done uh, but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one